So in this video, we're gonna actually make popcorn and we're gonna actually make it pop. So rather than it just be a, a finished piece of corn, um, we're gonna start with the kernel and then it's gonna pop into popcorn itself, okay? So let's go and have a look at how to do that right now. What we need to do is, let's make the kernel first. So we start with a, with a sphere and then we have a taper that we're gonna put on that. Let's first of all, let's make the sphere about 20 and then let's put this, the taper underneath it and say fit to parent. Okay, now if we just bring up the strength on the curve a little bit, it will go into this like a little seed shape, which is what we're after. Now, if we we can make we can keep modifying this, but I just wanted to, to do this a little bit quicker for you today. So we're just gonna quickly get a little shape like this. You spend a bit longer on this, you know, and, and turn it into a, a proper um, popcorn kernel but if uh, if we just yeah let's just leave it at that and then what we do is we right click on sphere and say connect objects and delete let's call that the kernel okay um, now I want to make the popcorn so I start with a, a cube and let's put that in at 50 by 50 by 50 and then five five and five in the segments now let's grab a um, a displacer and put a displacer underneath the cube and then just get a subdivision surface and put both of those in there right on the displacer on object we want the height to be about 180 and the shader we're going to use a noise so we get something that looks a bit like popcorn. Now, if we go into the noise shader, we can bring up these values. I think probably, let's just leave that where it is and let's just try these ones down here where we can, yeah, it's not too bad. Just, just play around with this. I found it's quite a nice way of getting a, like little popcorn flakes is just to use that method okay so once we've got that right click on it and connect and delete and let's call that popcorn all right so they're the two states aren't they we've got the let's move that out of the way so you can see and it's probably a little bit big so let's just shrink that down something like that so they're the two states we've got the the kernel and we've got the popped corn okay so what we'll do so we'll turn off the popcorn for now and we want to make a load of these kernels that are all going to pop so what we do is we get um, a cloner and we put the kernel into the cloner and we have it on grid and then let's go for about 10 by 10 and let's bring this the per step size down let's try 40 by 40 what we want us to do is get them really close but not to touch them and now let's just flip them over 90 degrees so they're all, they're all laying down like that and let's just bring that one out a little because they look a bit close right so now we have the kernels we now need to put in a floor and on the floor we need to put a collider body and then the cloner kernels we've just made we're going to bring them up and we want to put on right click and put on a, a rigid body okay now we need to grab a plane effector from the MoGraph menu as you can see it's moved over because it's already been affected by the plane effector but we need to change that we need to take out position we're not going to be affecting the position we want to be affecting the scale so we click check scale and check uniform scale and then we're going to put a one in there and these kernels are now going to double in size okay but we're going to affect this the way this does this and uh, using another using another effector or, or an emitter is going to make this work so let's go and grab that now let's get our particle emitter let's bring it up and let's constrain and bring it over to 90 degrees let's choose a top view actually let's turn off the plane effector so we can see the kernels right so let's go to the um, scale tool and let's scale up this emitter so it's slightly bigger 
than the than the, the the cloned kernels and then in the other direction let's just bring that out a little so it's bigger that way okay let's have a look at make sure it's on on zero so it's flat on the plane um, and now we need to add and the particles let's put in about 50 we try that and we don't want any speed we want these particles to form but we don't want them to go anywhere we just want them to appear okay so we put naught in on the speed um, we need to add let's, let's work on 800 frames so we'll put 800 in here under the emission when they stop and the lifetime of them 800 as well okay so whatever your timeline is that's what we want in here 800 so they all match right let's do this technical bit now right let's turn the planer back on let's go to cloner let's go to effectors and, and make sure the plane is in there if it isn't just drop the plane effector into there now we go to plane effector and we need to click we need to move this modify clone right up 100% we may even have to go more than 100% okay so for the moment let's go up to 100% and then under fields at the back here the last tab we need to drop the emitter into here as a particle object okay now straight away we've done that this is all changed back to as it was before it's affected because these kernels are going to be affected by the emitters when the emitter emits these little bit that's what's going to affect the the um the plane effector okay so let's see now what we need to do now obviously what will happen if we press play is it should start to just change these you see it's changing the color what what we need to do here though is go where it says fields color if we turn that off because it's affecting the color um you could leave it on i mean it's, it's not going to affect the effect but i just wanted to see we need this to be affecting the size now i think modify clone we need to push that to say 200 and see what we get now okay so it's rocking ah there's one thing i've just noticed the the emitter wasn't at zero okay we need to make sure that the emitter is on on the plane exactly on the plane with all of these okay make sure it's at zero and now can you see what's happening is these are being popped you can see they're all popping randomly right so what we do then is we go back to plane and we have a look at the modify clone here and say let's put 300 in okay so what they're doing is they're they're popping but they're not popping into the corn because at the moment we haven't put the corn in the cloner so we turn on the popcorn and then we put it under here okay so it's kernel first and then the popcorn and then if we play that i'm just seeing when these will activate at what point we probably need to add let's just go up a little bit more with, with this that's not affecting it so let's have a look at aha uh -huh. right this is what we need to do we need to change the radius on the emitter here and the layer under the particle field we need to have that uh, you see as I start to bring that up it starts to do it so we need to now bring the we now need to bring the the modify clone back to say 200 or 150 so, yeah you can see it's more random now and now if we go back to the fields on the emitter we can bring we can just play around with this so if now we try it you see what we're getting is the, this is really the key the key areas to look at here is you need to look at the plane parameter modify clone and play around with this figure so if you put that at 100% and then try it, it won't quite pop them, 
Okay, so it's between the two things. So we need to look at the parameter, modify clone, and we need to look at the fields, this uh, particle field radius as well. So if we bring that up, look, they will start to pop there. Okay, so you get this really nice effect where they're all popping. So there you have it. That is how you start with a kernel and how you pop it into popcorn. If you've enjoyed this video, please help my channel to grow by clicking and hitting this lovely like button below. Like the mic. <laughs> um, if you do that, I will make more videos and I will just keep finding great fun things to show you, okay? And keep posting them. So my name is Mike German from Visual Animations. Don't forget the like button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.